Okay. Uh, good evening, everyone. Welcome to this evening's Growth and Infrastructure and Resources Scrutiny Committee meeting. As usual, may I remind you all to mute unless you're addressing an item and raise your virtual hand should you wish to speak at any point in the meeting. Please note that this is a public meeting, so could I ask for everyone to be courteous and polite. Any remarks made during the meeting should relate to the subject matter only and should not constitute a personal attack upon any person or contain any offensive language or aggressive gestures. We have a very busy agenda tonight with lots to discuss. So in order to get through it, uh, there may be times that I will defer to officers and ask them to get back to you on specific points. May I also remind members that any discussion regarding the cultural review must not be held in a public session. At such times as when these matters need to be discussed by the committee, the public session via Zoom will be closed so that the committee members then can meet in private via Teams. If we get close to the finish time of 9.30, I will ask to take a vote on extending the meeting until 10 o'clock, which is the absolute cutoff point. So first item on the agenda, apologies, Jane. Do we have any apologies? Yes, Chair. Apologies have been received from councillors Beggy, Toseland, Wilson, and we have received apologies from two portfolio holders, namely councillors Payne and Hemsley. Thank you, Jane. Um, we have a set of the minutes to approve from the last meeting held on the 10th of February 2022. Does anybody have any amendments that they would like making to those minutes at all? Councillor Oxley. Uh, yes, thank you. I've just got some questions with regards to the outcomes. Um, Grief and Quarry. Unfortunately, Ooh. Councillor Beggy isn't here, but um, what uh, what came out of that? We did have some outcomes which we were hoping to uh, report to, I guess, under matters of rising tonight. Do you know about that, June? Um, I don't know anything about it. I haven't had any. I haven't had anything back about that. Okay, let me just. Um, hold on, I'll very quickly get uh, it. Gordon has got his hand up. All right. Okay. Have some okay. <laughs> If I recall correctly, looking at the agenda tonight, um, we have uh, a, a meeting, a later meeting, a response back from um, Penny Sharp regarding the uh, um, the report uh, on the uh, quarry. I think if you look on the towards the very last page, I think on the uh, the pack tonight. All right. I thought I. Uh... It's, it picks up the uh, matter arising. Um, June uh, 2022 Minerals Authority contract update. What number was that, Gordon? Thank you. What agenda item? Uh, big page 53. All right. All right. Okay. And uh, okay. And the second one was um, Oliver was going to come back about for Oakham. Is there anything to report on that? Um, I can reply on that, but it's been decided um, he hasn't met the uh, the mayors at all, but Four Oakham is its own limited company and therefore it's down to Four Oakham if it wants to wind itself up or not. It's a decision Four Oakham needs to make, not RCC. Okay. And the last thing, um, grounds maintenance contract, parish online. There was talk of, uh, I think, Gordon, you, you proposed that, didn't you, at, the, at September meeting? Um, I can't remember proposing Parish Online. What I did say was um, that uh, it would be a very good idea for the individual maps to be presented to the parish councils so that they could confirm that the areas that uh, the county council has proposed for cutting are the same as the um, land that's currently being cut and it doesn't require cutting, as the case may be, uh, by the parish council. So I think there's a piece of work to be done there just to clarify exactly what is it is in the county council contract and what's not yeah because in the and that did go through sorry that did go through as a recommendation to cabinet um, and did yeah carry on um yes thank you chair yes it did um i'm looking over at mrs sharp but i can't see why that can't happen um Mrs. Sharp, do we know what point we've got to with the mapping? Do 
You're on mute. Um, sorry, yes. Um, so we're out of public consultation currently on the grounds maintenance contract. Um, and we have extended that to the 6th of May to enable us to engage with parish councils. Um, the point around sharing um, the areas for that we would cut um, is, is something that we, we, we're keen to explore further, um, mm -hmm. certainly in discussion with the parishes. And um, if, if I can come back to you outside of this meeting, just on um, the practicalities of sharing that mapping information, I will do so. Just coming back on the point that uh, uh, Councillor Oxley made regarding par Parish Online, is it the Council's intention to use Parish Online as a standard um, across the county? Has that been discussed at all at Parish Forums? Unfortunately, members are not um, privy to what's said at Parish Forums, so we're not too sure what's said. Not that I'm aware of. Okay. Um, do you want me to pick that up, Councillor Brown, um, outside of the meeting? I'm certainly happy to talk to you. I know that um, Baradon certainly used Parish Online, Ketton does, and I, th and I think there are others using it now as well. It, it is looking like a very good system for parishes to use and to exchange information between the Parish Council and the County Council. Great, thank, right, can thank I you, Councillor. Oh, sorry, sorry, Joe, I was just thanking Councillor Brown. Yeah, so uh, can I move back to the actual um, schedule now, please? So. Do I have a proposal and a second to approve the minutes of the meeting held on the 10th of February? So uh, I can see Mr. Oxley, Councillor Oxley, and uh, Councillor Waller, so those are true. Um, so, um, so declarations of interest, do we have any interest to be declared this evening at all? Councillor Brown, you've got your hands up, but I think that's a legacy hand. I can't see any anyway. So petitions, deputations and questions. Do we have any, Jane, at all? None have been received, Chair. Okay. Questions with notice from members. Do we have any questions with notice from members, Jane? None have been received, Chair. Thank you. Notices of motion from members. Uh, Jane, have we received any? None have been received, Chair. Okay. Um, consideration of any matter referred to the committee for a decision in relation to the call-in of a decision. Have we had any call-ins, Jane? None received, Chair. Okay. Um, exclusion of the press and public. The committee is recommended to determine whether the public and press to be excluded in, from the meeting in accordance with Section 100A4 of the Local Government Act 1972. As amended and in accordance with the Access Information Provisions Procedure Rule 239, as the following item of business is likely to involve the disclosure of exempt information as defined in paragraph four of part one of Schedule 12A of the Act, information relating to any consultations on negotiations or contemplated consultations on negotiations in connection with any labor relations matter arising between the authority or a minister of the Crown and an employees of, or officers holders under the authority. I propose that the committee now excludes the press and public in order for us to consider the financial matters. Do I have a seconder? Councillor Oxley, thank you. I will adjourn the meeting for a few minutes while the public session of the meeting is closed and members are requested to join teams meeting set up for a private session. So the Zoom meeting will be closed so that members can attend the Teams meeting. Soon in a couple of minutes. Sorry, Chair. Um, we were actually in a strange position. We actually have no members of the public watching or listening to this meeting. So rather than going closing this and going into a Teams, we can continue with this meeting and we will just edit it out before publicising well, it on could, the... Um, chairman... You could edit it out or you could stop recording, couldn't you? Um, chairman, is there not a risk that somebody might join the meeting and um, 
when we're in exempt to make it a, a bit uncomfortable? If somebody does join, then it does come up on my screen and I would stop the meeting immediately and tell you. I mean, it's, it's entirely up to you. If you're happy to close the Zoom, we can do that and everybody go into the Teams meeting because it is private. Can I can I say that uh, it, it is up to uh, the clerk to actually admit people. They won't be able to hear what's being said, and they will be kept in the waiting room until the exempt item has been uh, finished with. I don't think that's completely true, Mark. Because no? right. I joined as my hatter chatter, and I was listening to okay. the chairman and Jane for quite a long time. Um, trying to get into the main thing it's admitting to this bit that we need the clerk for okay i take that i take um, that penny back. you have your hands up can we have a decision on this please yeah can i suggest that we go into the teams meeting just for safety yeah. okay that's fine thank you i've got the link jane lovely so hopefully i have as well jane <laughs> It should if you be don't see me shortly, please resend it. <laughs> we'll close the meeting.